company that had the worst year in 2013 is probably Sears. The, the company continues to uh, suck wind. Its retail operations, same store sales, continue to fall. I'll, I'll go with Sears. I think that probably expectations were a little bit higher there with Eddie Lampert uh, in his reputation as an investor. So, uh, so yeah, they, they've had a pretty bad one. They've tried all of these things and nothing seems to have worked. The business just keeps going in the wrong direction. Sure, there might be a lot of value in the real estate, but honestly, who cares? They can't, do, they can't seem to do anything with it. It's just an incredibly weak business. Um, you don't need to read a balance sheet to know that. You can just go into one of the stores. It's depressing. I think you have to look at J.C. Petty for the worst year. Uh, you know, just a horrible CEO switch with Ron Johnson, who was in and then he was out. Uh, different marketing campaigns, you know, trying to create a store within a store concept. Nothing at all seemed to work with J.C. Penney. Retail is tough in general. J.C. Penney, in particular, um, is really uh, struggling to find its place. In the, in the department store space, and I think it's gonna continue to be an uphill battle. You can take somebody with a great track record who's done really well, and then you try and transplant them into another culture, another organization, and they're just not successful. And I think, um, you know, that's a lesson. There will still be Microsoft, take my word for this, there's gonna be other companies that try and hire, you know, hire um, really well-known CEOs. Same thing with the Washington Redskins when they hire new coaches that make a splash it doesn't mean they're going to be successful. You can't translate the two. So um, anyhow, JCPenney was a disaster. I don't, I don't think anybody could argue on that. I'd like to forget about Nuance Communications. Terrible performance and seems a little bit confused on how they're going to the market. Lululemon has had a tough time. Um, their CEO recently left. Their chairman stepped down after making some pretty awful comments that uh, really infuriated customers and their product quality has, has taken a nosedive. Lululemon. Um, <laughs> well, first you sold see-through pants, which was probably not the best idea. And then, after you sold see-through pants, you decided you were going to blame it on your customers. That was probably a worse idea. Abercrombie and Fitch. I mean, here's the thing, it, there wasn't many that had bad years this year, so, so it's tough to choose. Obviously, JCPenney had a bad year, but I'd say Abercrombie and Fitch was just a disaster this year. Thank you.